Hey everyone, welcome back to Techie Druid. Today, I'll show you how to set up your own personal cloud using Nextcloud on True NAS scale. If you're looking for a secure self-hosted alternative to Google Drive or Dropbox, this tutorial is for you. So let's dive right in. True NAS is an open source NAS operating system based on Linux. Pair that with Nextcloud, a leading open source cloud storage software, you've got a perfect solution for your personal or small business cloud needs. Before we dive in, let's go over the hardware requirements for TrueNAS Scale. You need a dedicated machine for TrueNAS Scale installation, such as an old PC or server. Make sure you have a 64-bit Intel or AMD processor with virtualization support. A minimum of two hard drives are needed, one for operating system installation and the other for creating storage pools. A USB flash drive with at least 8GB is needed to create a bootable USB. And lastly, you need a reliable internet connection. First, we'll start by installing TrueNAS Scale. If you haven't already set up TrueNAS Scale, here's a quick guide. Go to the TrueNAS download page. Select the latest stable version of TrueNAS Scale and click download to save the ISO file on your computer. To create a bootable USB drive with TrueNAS Scale ISO, We'll use a Balina Etcher software. So, download and install Balina Etcher. Insert the USB drive into your computer. Click Flash from File. Select the TrueNAS scale ISO file and click Open. Click Select Target and choose your USB drive from the list. Click the Flash button. Bellina Etcher will begin writing the ISO image to the USB drive. Once the flashing process is complete, safely eject the USB drive from your computer. Now. Insert the bootable USB drive into the target computer where you want to install TrueNAS Scale. Power on the computer and enter the boot menu screen. Select the USB drive and press enter. The system will now load the TrueNAS Scale installer. Select install TrueNAS Scale and press enter. In the TrueNAS console setup wizard, select install or upgrade. The installer will list all connected devices. Use the space bar to choose the drive where you want to install TrueNAS Scale. The drive will be erased during installation, so make sure you don't have any important data on it. It will prompt you to set up an admin account. Note down the admin username, then enter a strong password and press OK. The installer will now copy files and install the operating system. This process may take a few minutes. Once installation is complete, remove the USB drive and select Reboot System. After the reboot, TrueNAS Scale will display its IP address on its command line interface or CLI. Now we have to access the TrueNAS web interface. On another computer connected to the same network, open a web browser. Enter the TrueNAS server IP address in the URL bar. Login using your admin username and password. First, we need to set up storage pool using your available drives. So navigate to storage. Click Create Pool, enter a descriptive name for your pool. Truna Scale supports various RAID layouts to suit your data redundancy and performance needs. I only have one drive, so I'm selecting Stripe. If you have multiple drives, you can choose Mirror, RAID Z1, RAID Z2, etc. based on your requirements. RAID Z2 is recommended for good balance between redundancy and capacity. Then select the drives you want to include in the pool. Keep pressing Next.
Finally, click on create pool. With the storage pool created, let's move on to deploying Nextcloud. We'll install Nextcloud using the Truna Scale built-in apps feature. Here, find the Nextcloud app. Nextcloud is a powerful open source cloud storage solution that allows you to store, share and access files securely over the internet. Select your pool to install the app. In the configuration page, create a Nextcloud admin account. In the host field, enter your Truna server IP. Also, enter a password for Redis caching and Nextcloud database. Enable cron so that Nextcloud can perform background tasks automatically and regularly. In the certificate ID dropdown, select Truna's default certificate. This is the built-in self-signed certificate that Truna's automatically generates during installation. Click on install and wait for the app to deploy. This may take a few minutes. Now that Nextcloud is up and running, you can access it from any device on your local network. Log in to your admin account. You have a fully functional Nextcloud setup running on your true NAS scale server. To ensure everything works smoothly, you can upload some files to your Nextcloud storage. You can also share files or folders with a public link. To access from mobile, download the Nextcloud app on your phone. In the app, enter your Nextcloud server URL. Then enter your admin username and password. You can also install the Nextcloud app on your computer or other devices. Okay. So, we have completed the installation of Nextcloud on the true NAS scale, but it only works in the local or internal network. If you want to access it remotely from outside your network, please follow the steps. To allow external access, you need to set up port forwarding on your router. So, log into your router's dashboard. Go to port forwarding section. Forward port 30027 to the TrueNAS scale server IP address. Next, let's set up dynamic DNS so you can access Nextcloud using a domain name even if your public IP changes. Go to the dynamic DNS section under the network menu. If you are using TP-Link router, you can create a free account on no IP or you can use TP-Link's built-in TDNS service. Here, enter a domain or host name of your choice. The router will now keep your DDNS host name updated with your changing public IP. Now, go to the Nextcloud app configuration page on TrueNAS. In the host field, enter your DDNS domain instead of your local IP. 
then update the application. Now you can access Nextcloud using the domain name from outside your network. And there you have it, your own personal cloud with Nextcloud on true NAS scale. You now have complete control over your data without relying on third-party cloud providers like Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, etc. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to Techie Druid, and leave a comment if you have any questions or tips to share. Thanks for watching.